you know, let's start by talking a little bit about the nervous system and what it is and, you know, really how the different branches. Let's talk about sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Yeah, your autonomic nervous system controls all of your automatic functions like breathing, heart rate, digestion, detoxification, immune function. And it has really two gears. You can think of it as the gas pedal and the brake because it's designed to keep you alive. So if there's a danger, like a wild animal is chasing you or a car is about to veer into your lane, you shift into the sympathetic branch of your nervous system. And that's the branch that mobilizes all of your resources, like your blood, your oxygen, to give you that energy to either fight, flee, or freeze if you're paralyzed. And so what happens there is blood is routed from digestion and detoxification organs to your arms and your legs. Your pupils dilate, the black part of your eyes gets really big so that you can see just kind of that next best step. It shuts down kind of your higher ability to ponder and consider options. And it also shuts down everything that's really not critical to surviving in that moment including your ability to digest, detoxify, support your immune system and anti-inflame. And then ideally when the danger passes, almost think of it as a gear shift, you then shift into the parasympathetic state. Like the, na- the example they use in nature is, um, you know, the lion is chasing the zebra and the zebra escapes and then it kind of shakes and releases and shifts gears. And in the parasympathetic state, that's the rest, digest, and heal state. So blood is routed back to your organs of digestion and detoxification to support those processes. Inflammation is able to uh, shut down. Your immune system turns back on. And the challenge is that the stress response is triggered not only by physical danger, but by thought-driven anticipatory stress. You know, if we're worried about something like a a relationship, uh, financial issues, uh, a job, any kind of dynamic that's going on, the body doesn't know the difference because anticipatory stress kept us alive. So those same chemicals get released that would get released in a physical danger. That's why you know, for anyone who might be exhausted and you're just ready to tap the mat at night, but your, your body's tired, but your mind is racing and you can't fall asleep. That's because those stress hormones are being released and kind of shifting gears into that parasympathetic state will shift the chemical response and allow you to heal. Yeah, absolutely. And most people are in this state of fight or flight where they're really just trying, they're in survival mode. And so they're not able to heal. And, you know, so a big, a big approach to, to getting well is creating balance there between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. 